So last night we drove about five hours to Holt, Florida for the Clutch Kickers Fun Day. I'm joined by my good friend Victor and the lovely girlfriend wherever she's hiding. It's probably a little too cold out here for her. Go up a couple degrees of latitude and she thinks it's freezing. No, it's not too cold for me. Your no. jokes just suck, so. <laughs> I've always wanted to drift this track, just never got the opportunity to. It's been around for a couple of years and I'm actually really excited because I only really ever drift Orlando Speed World and we all know that that's just a skid pack. So, you guys ready? <laughs> yeah. I listen to back and I don't know how to do the bump. <laughs> no! <laughs> I got to record that. Victor has been exposed. Okay, so we just got through tech inspection. I want to do a quick run through of the track just to see. The drop off ain't too bad. You see on the outside edge. And then coming around the corner. Okay. Drop. Oh, yeah, right here. So oh. this, this is the, the sketchy part. Some of my buddies were saying that the track is a little sketchy in terms of the drop-offs, but I don't think it's nearly as bad as what the compound was when we had gone, what, two weeks ago. So it'll be fun. I'm excited. We won't go I'm never sober, so I'm alone. I need some type of joy. I need some type of substance. She keeps sending me so. I need some type of substance. She keeps sending me so. I need some type of joy. The class structure here at Emerald Coast Dragway, they don't use A classes like tandem only. It's more of a free for all for all tandem drivers. Both B, or your C and, wait. B and B. No, B and B. Yeah. So we'll all be on track at the same time. Yeah, awesome. Excited. They got nice matching pair of Zs. Something that I'm trying to get me and my buddies to do, but you know, you guys beat us to it. Or you can just wrap yours our color. Oh, I'll join you guys, yeah. yeah. Move to Tampa. Yeah. Uh, I ain't moving to Tampa. <laughs> okay, we're in grid. There's a lot of people out here. Really hoping no one spins out in front of me, but I think for our first lap, we're just gonna send it. All right, here we go. out here throwing twos let me in let me in <laughs>
probably shouldn't have done that. JJ, I'm a bad boy. What'd you do? I, uh... There's smoke coming from down there. I might have uh, overheated the car a little bit. So we're gonna, we're gonna chill for now. Chill, chill, chill. We got, we got plenty of uh, seat time. No need to, no need to be crazy with it. Okay, so now we're driving my buddy Andrew's car just to see what it feels like. If I can give him any pointers on just overall how to get through the track. I mean, you were linking it earlier, so it's not that yeah. bad, uh, right? I'm linking it. Yeah, I'm linking it. I'm just now getting used to the hydro, so I'm pulling it a little bit too hard, a little too long, so I'm over, over rotating. Gotcha, That's gotcha. Fine, but, uh, I also learned all day yesterday how to drive without the hydro, so now I'm trying to learn how yeah, to drive with the hydro. Yeah, which is smart. Very smart. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. Oh, okay, this is... No hydro! Oh, shit! Oh, snap! I spun! What the heck? Why oh, is the crutch? I suck! from what I'm used to, but it's fun because I feel like I'm learning just how to adapt to the car. And the biggest thing for me was like exclusively not using the handbrake and then using my left foot to keep the car from pivoting so quick on transition. So if you just tap the brake sometimes, if you feel like you're going out too much and you're about to spin, sometimes that will slow the pivot. And as long as you're on throttle, it'll keep you pushing forward. So I'm gonna pull off up here. Okay. You're gonna show me how it's done. I'll do my best. Oh man, that's awesome. This is a humbling experience. I love it. <laughs> Let's go, Andrew. Because what, this is just the GK Tech uh, yeah, so just adapter? The, I'm running it without the spacer, so there's an extra, uh, I think like eight or 10 degrees, I don't really know. Okay. Tom would know it. There's, there's degrees I'm leaving on the table, but I'm pretty much locked to lock. I don't gotcha. know where you locked to lock. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, we just got done with the first session and I'm telling you, it's awesome. What I really want to try to do is just get that entry a little bit more solid. I felt like I was cutting the inside line just a little bit because I'm just sending it. But we'll see, we're gonna have fun with it.
looking at this temperature, just two laps shouldn't have done that. We might have some uh, overheating issues. smoking too all right well i hate to say it but i don't think our days cut short it's just for some reason the z's overheating so victor and i were looking at it and it looks like the coolant reservoir when it expands and gets a little too hot it's brushing up against the pulley there so we have a little hole in this reservoir so maybe it just needs to be patched and then re-bled you know what they say these z's are supposed to be indestructible they don't overheat if you get the power steering and oil coolers on them but I'm overheating now. Uh, so not really getting the benefit of having the Z when it overheats. The Nissan technician's here. He's gonna help me figure out what's wrong with this I'm thing. I'm off the clock. <laughs> <laughs> Jay's been out there testing out her new camera and uh, we noticed. Don't zoom in on it, stop. <laughs> her face is caked with tire crap. I, I it's keep funny. like chewing on tire pieces too. <laughs> like it, it feels like when you get sand in your mouth and it's crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> Coolant reservoir tank expanded yeah. and then pushed up against the, the belt and pulley. Oh, you cracked it? So I cracked it, yeah. But that's just the reservoir. That's just the reservoir, yeah. right. So we went ahead and pulled the reservoir out. You can see there's a slight little crack there. Um, so we put some epoxy or JB weld super glue on it to just try to keep it from leaking. What I'm thinking might be happening is when we're driving, the coolant expands it goes into the overflow or the reservoir tank, leaks out of here, and then just continuously drains us from having coolant. So the idea, patch this, put it back in the car, bleed the coolant system, we got distilled water, and hopefully, just hopefully that uh, keeps us from overheating. Cause yeah, it's like barely even a lap and then it's overheating. It's not good, no bueno. All right, we patched up the reservoir, drove it up on top of the trailer ramps. This is the Nissan way, right? Gotta do it some way. Yeah. This Z drank half this, what is it, a gallon of uh, distilled water? Yeah, so I was definitely low on cooling. She's a thirsty girl. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can only blame the Z so much if you don't take care of it. And honestly, since we drifted this last time, didn't even care to do anything with it. Just kept it on the trailer and of course, needed more cooling. Coolant's bled. We'll take it out. I think this is the third session for the day. Um, we'll cross our fingers that it's not going to continue overheating. If it does, then so what? Let's just blow this sucker up. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Or no, that was three laps. Oh, yeah. Three laps and it got a little hot, but it doesn't look like it's pegging like it was before. So I'm just waiting for the next session. The Z is doing okay. It's still getting a little bit hotter than I would really expect it to on a 68 degree night. But if there's one thing I have to mention, there are a million and a half Zs out here. I mean, they are definitely proven chassis. It's just, there's so many. Sister and your cousin, twelve bodies cooking. 
cooking for me, that's a baker's dozen They try and show me ass, putting cookies in the oven Looks like Papa Andrew's over here Getting the glizzies on the on the grill. Like one, sir? No, no, no. It's okay. I don't. I don't want to eat your glizzy. <laughs> it's all I've yours. Never told that before. <laughs> <laughs> so because Andrew let me drift his car and I did a horrible job, I'm gonna let him take out my Z and see if he can recognize the difference. I'm sure you are gonna be able to tell, but it might just incentivize you to set the car up in a similar way, and then we can get some serious tandems going. Yeah, I'm just worried about your clutch. My stage three clutch versus your OEM clutch. Yeah, it's yep. a little weird. I mean, I took it back there on the strip and, and spun it a little bit, but yeah, I don't know. We'll, You'll have fun with we'll it either see. way. Whenever someone stops the flow of good, I think about this song.